Welcome everyone to my second video. Today I'm going to make a video on some knowledge of why old CRT monitors, big box ones like this, these monitors are better than something like this. Now you might be thinking, what the hell is wrong with you? That's pretty stupid. Look at the difference. But you'd be wrong. For these, look better or faster, cheaper, depending on how far to the highest quality CRT you want. And I'd say the only downfall is the power consumption and the size because they're all like 24 inch I think it's like the biggest ones but if you're looking for a very nice looking monitor very cheap and very fast these will be what you want first we'll go into what CRT actually is lucky for us it has a diagram right here I'm not good at editing so basically They'll send out a little ray, some electron beams and whatnot, like some coils to make the light go where you want it to. I'll go through an area full of like phosphorus gas, and eventually go out onto the screen. I have a CRT next to me, but you can't really see it. And there, like if you move your hand in front of a CRT versus a normal monitor, it looks really weird. Like here's an article on their how they're better, but I'd rather explain it. I don't see why we should just read an article. So we have an open thing here. We ever need to load something up. So first step, speeds. We'll take a look at this. I have a really fast monitor here. It's one millisecond response time, and it's an LCD. It was the best you could get in gaming from. 2010, which is, yeah, it's old, 10 years old, still, it's good, I've been using it for a while, it's one millisecond response time, seems really fast, but introduced something called ghosting, if you don't know what ghosting is, you can read, basically it's not that, but like, when you, when it's loading in a different frame, partially the other frames, are still there so it looks all blurry horrible for gaming you're trying to be a good CSGO gamer let's say cause I play a lot of CSGO you can't aim with the ob because you'll see multiple guys so one millisecond is nice now they have new monitors with 0.5 milliseconds gray to gray what well, but that's how they always measure them here but CRTs have basically no response time latency at all they travel there's at the speed of light i'm not making that up you, know, you can google it if you want we can google it now well i'm just gonna have to ask you to take my word on this one because i don't really want to google stuff but here i will be googling it anyway so may as well time of crt monitor 0 0.01 resonant, one then one, whatever that means. Zero MS. Because they literally just go with the speed of light. And we'll take a look at this. Most monitors average 1080p 60 hertz. You're cool. Maybe like 1440, 144 hertz. That's nice and all. But let's look at, uh, Fa no, we can't look up Facebook Marketplace, eBay. This was because my friend was searching on there. Look at CRT monitor. I don't know how to type, never mind. Monitor. $12, $129, but like, they're, they're cheaper in real life. Because the people that sell them are stupid online. And the shipping is crazy expensive. 
That's why like this one would be 125. Because they're both, because they only have $45 shipping. You know, this will be a good example. An average monitor, no idea anything about it. Let's take a look. None of this video is scripted. You can tell by how <coughs> horrible quality is. Excuse me. You just type CNET. You can get the specs of it. Here we go. Random monitor. They sound about $125. 1600 by 1200 that is basically the 4 by 3 of a uh, of 1080p that's like 1920 by 1080 a little higher over here than there it's better for gaming everything is a little bit more stretched but overall since it's a CRT they have no set resolution so they can just project whatever you want because in an essence they're mini projectors so that's really good. It's at least 16 inch viewable size. That's like I said the downfall. And then we can look at the pixel pitch. Or as other people know. Dot pitch. 0.22. Let's take a look at some other good one. Dot pitch of. Uh, what's a good monitor. Let's start in a second. Good 1440 gaming monitor. Because that's the average people get for gaming and whatnot now. So we'll get the best one. Asus. That stuff. I don't want to say it. Take a look at this crazy thing. 165 hertz. 1440. IPS. They won't tell us the response time because it's probably horrible. That's what they like to do. Oh, we, we'll put horrible stuff in there, but we'll hide it somewhere. It's got to be here somewhere. We don't need to go through all this like I am. Here's their faked images on how everything will look better if you buy their stuff. It's all faked. It's stupid that they're even allowed to do that. You know, without G-Sync, your game looks like that, right? It's so stupid. Oh, but it comes with a crosshair, a timer... FPS counter definitely can't just download fraps for that. But, you know, got its HDMI display port, hide your cables, low blue light in case you're you don't want to die. Cause you know that's the difference between games. If your monitor doesn't have that, it looks like that. It gets all these weird scale lines. Don't ask why I didn't make the rules. Well, you know, they're a big company. They wouldn't lie to us like that. Okay, if you could tell, there was some irony in that. Let's see what CNET has to say about them. Oh, $670. Oh, you give me the specs. 1440.65.233. Higher pixel pitch. Basically, oh, pixel pitch. Yeah, that's point two three three. That, that's how many pixels are crammed into an area. So it doesn't matter if you have a 4K monitor. Sure, it's going to have more pixels, but they'll be spread out more. There's a big formula for that, for like the, verti the, the vertical, the diagonal length of your monitor and whatnot. But there it is. This one has better pixels per inch. means the pixels are denser, closer. Of course, that doesn't matter. Why? But that means resolution for here. You could say, theoretically, it doesn't matter. Because if you have closer pixels, why would it matter? 165 hertz, no denying it, that beats it there. You can't really deny it. Ain't two ways around it. Like I said, then you got the price. 620, 660, 670, 650. 700 if you're crazy and buy stuff at Best Buy. Don't, by the way. They're stupid. A bunch of more stuff. Weighs 15 pounds. Blah, blah, blah. 27 inches. So 100% beats it in there. But, like I said, 624. Well, that is new. You got this one here. 125. 
Definitely not a bad trade. Let's take a look at it new used. See what the changes are. Two hundred twenty five, four hundred eighty, six hundred seventy. This two hundred. Oh, it's a bid, and it still has time. So, yeah, that's definitely gonna go up. No one bid on it. So, what was the shipping cost on the other one? 45. So, we have a total of $170. This one, we have a total of. $280. I forgot the total of the other one. Oh, there it is. 4 milliseconds versus light speed. So that'll give them that ghosting. It, you know, it actually matters. Yu-Gi-Oh cards, like what I was looking at. My friend. So, there's some theoretical proof on paper but now you may be asked well hey you're a retard well what does it matter what does it look like who the hell cares what it says on some random piece of paper online what we care about is what it looks like and what I'll tell you is it looks so much better I got the HP Pavilion MX75 as my CRT Pavilion. Um, Mac. Oh, it's 75, not 15. There it is, for some reason, $100 on eBay. Oh, yeah, I forgot to talk about that. Online pricing, it's stupid. Unless you're looking for a certain one, like the GW FW, FW 900, which is the greatest CRT of all time. I want it so bad, but I don't want to show out $1,000 on a monitor. I'm, I'm not rich. So yeah, you could spend a hundred dollars on it, or go around to some stops like Goodwill or uh, what are they called? Garage sales. You can pick up CRTs. I got this one for five dollars. Let's take a look at some specs of it. So five dollars gets us point two five. So it fails against the other monitor. As all these, it, it, it's overall, it's worse than the other monitor. You can't deny that. It's worse than, not that, this dude. Except for response time. So it still beats it in one thing. It also has an anti-static coding. I don't know why they won't have that on there. No one cares about that stuff. Oh yeah, it's just a little speaker on top. Never get that working. I didn't know it could do 3060 by 1024. All right, 1024 by 768 at 85 hertz. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, I gotta talk. So overall, five dollars. Way better monitor than what else you could get for five dollars. Oh, the other problem: all of them use rain of stuff like VGA, and all the new GPUs don't use VGA. They don't even have analog connectors anymore. So what are you gonna do? I'll tell you what you're gonna do. You're gonna get on Amazon. You're gonna buy a twenty-dollar converter. I got a display port to VGA because I'm using my HDMI for this. You can find them for $5. Make sure you get one that's active. It has to be an active adapter so it can transfer the analog to digital signal. Make sure it's actually meant for new stuff to old. A lot of them aren't both ways. You got yourself a really nice monitor for cheap. That's like $35 for this monitor. That's better than this monitor I spent $200 on. Uh, I'd say that's a pretty dang good deal if you ask me. Of course it's not bigger. This is a 27 inch. But faster response time. Uh, way higher 
a way better pixel pitch. My monitor is a point three 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 yeah point three three so way better on that aspect so it already looks better overall the images are just crisper on crt is the way it works you're just gonna have to take my word on this because there's literally no proof unless you buy one but if you go watch my first video about this game rise son of rome i'll be talking to myself about how much better it looked on the crt than this monitor Everything was crisper. The textures that looked meh on there looked amazing on the CRT. All running at a lower resolution on there. It's it's just crazy in my opinion. We gave up this technology because of uh, environmentalists. They were like, oh no, power usage, blah blah blah. I'll kill the environment. Even though we could switch to nuclear energy. But that's another video for another time. Because I need to turn this into multiple videos. So I'm going to close this. Get rid of all this crap. I don't want it. We'll load back. This again. So there you go. That's why CRTs are better. Better image quality. Cheaper. And uh, higher refresh rates than mid-range ones. Low end maybe now. I oh, know this is 60 hertz. I'll leave it for $200. So it's one millisecond. That's a good deal because the lack of ghosting when I play CS:GO, it's really nice. But like I said, oh yeah, can't have a CRT video without talking about the greatest one ever existing, W900. You can't even find it. They don't. They don't even have it for sale. It's so amazing. Look at it. 22.5 inches of viewable 234 by 1440 that's a little under the modern 1440 at 80 hertz a 0.23 pixel pitch that's wrong it's actually a 0.22 i know because i've done my own research i've looked through the official manuals of them they screwed up on their 0.22 actually sadly though where is it? Where is it? Where is it? it? Weighs 100 pounds. It's a 16 by 10 instead of 16 by 9. So that means it's widescreen. Everything you'll be able to see more. I want a Tron to Tron. You can overclock them way higher. Someone got theirs at like 160 hertz at the 1080p version of 16 by 10. What is that? 1080p 16. By 10 version. Let's see if it knows what I want. Which one would be there? 1920 by 1200. Is there a 20 by 1080? So you can get it there. So it's higher than there on pixel count. Closer pixels and at 160 hertz. Now, yes, you won't get it there, but like I said, lower pixel pitch. It's normally by 0.1 compared to that other one we looked at. But, of course, this is a liar. It's actually fucking 0 0.2. It's, point, it's 20, 23. I guarantee it. I've read through the things. But, yeah, like I said, it uses a lot of power. A lot, good overclocking, pretty epic, really nice, HP just took the parts of it and rebranded it as their own in one, like the, let's see what it was, HP A7 something, 7, 721A, this is their version of it, it's basically the same thing, 1440, let's see if they even have it, nope, none of them are overclocked on here. Yeah, they have it preset at 85 there. That's wrong because it's the same monitor as a... They don't know what they're talking about. I swear to... It's the same one. You can go through these. See, HP version. They're all... They're the same. 
I swear, I thought Cena was good. They're the same monitors. And if you ever get a scratch on a CRT, you can take it apart and uh, remove like the anti-static sheet on it. It'll fix it. It'll just be a little staticky. Only if you're basically touching the monitors, and I won't affect you if you're not retarded. So basically, you have two chances. If you get like a little scratch in your monitor. So, this truly concludes the video. I hope you've learned something. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. If you actually watched the video, thank you so much. And like I said in my other videos, you can contact me at the email below for game recommendations, books I should read, want me to do your homework or a project, because I, I want to learn stuff, but uh, school isn't good at that. Thanks to coronavirus, we're out of school for a month, so I'll be doing my own nuclear physics classes online that I got. Because why not learn about nuclear physics? You only live once. See you all in a later video. I hope you enjoyed my rambling. This has is, this is probably been great for you to fall asleep to. See you all later.